Welcome back to Overland Florida, everybody. I'm Kevin, and today, Goose, Jillian, and I have made it to our property in North Carolina. We're gonna do some spring cleaning. You can probably hear a machine behind me. My dad is actually in the woods with his excavator. And we have three ponds on our property. So we have a creek that comes off the mountains, fills up this first pond. This first pond goes through this drain into the second pond, which is behind me. And then on the other side of that, we have a third pond. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the first pond um, we're going to go all the way around it. It has been maintained in a few years. We're going to chop down all the little trees. I'm going to bring the weed whacker out. I'm going to weed whack all the grass around it. And then um, there's a little spillway where the creek fills the pond. And we're just going to clean all that sand. Anytime there's a big storm or something, a lot of sand gets kind of pushed into the, the pond. So he's going to clean that little area up while I weed whack. And then we'll bring you guys back. And we'll move on to the next pond.
It actually only took about 30 minutes to weed whack around this whole pond. There's Goose, he's swimming laps. Uh, my dad finished with the excavator, picking up all the little root balls from all the plants that grew around it. And one of the main reasons we want to clear it out is uh, when they build these ponds, they use a special type of clay. And if you let trees and stuff um, grow around the edge, the roots will actually break through that clay and the ponds will start to leak. So we have to go all the way around it, clear all the trees around and the brush. Um, this one's knocked out. Now we're working on the second pond right down there. So right here, I did leave a patch and that is blackberries. So in a couple months, we're gonna have a bunch of blackberries right here. We can be up here camping with our little camper or mowing with the lawnmower, swing by, pick up some blackberries and just enjoy the uh, property. Moving on to the second pond, which is probably our favorite. It's roughly three times the size of this one right here. And I did that whole pond about 30 minutes. I used one 8.0 battery and that's a mix between the weed whacker and I use this hedge trimmer as like a sickle bar mower. And you can kind of just mow down all the vines, all the blackberry bushes, all that works really well with that. Anything that's too big for the weed whacker string, that right there comes in really handy.
So majority of this pond is done. I think the weed backer was overheating. So I had to stop right there. I have that long stretch. And then my dad is down here with the excavator. This pond uh, is draining, so it's really low. Normally it's at the top of that black pipe over there. That's the uh, overflow for, to get, for it to uh, continue on the other side. And uh, there's some old stumps over here. So he's trying to get those out with the excavator. Might as well do it while the water's low. I ended up running out of weedbacker string. Um, I came with 30 feet, thought that would be enough, but uh, apparently it wasn't. So basically from right here all the way over, I've been using the hedge trimmer on the end. So I'll film a little bit of that. This is some pretty thick stuff. There's a bunch of blackberry um, thorns and stuff in there. And then a lot of this just thick grass.
you can tell where I used the weed whacker, it looks so good over there. And then when I came over here, I started using the little head trimmer and I got pretty far. Um, it's not that the machine's that heavy. It's just awkward to hold. It's not made to be using solo to the ground. It's made for like um, trimming hedges and stuff. But on the bakement, it's kind of hard. So I got all this cleared out. I got to about right there. We're gonna call it quits for the day. I think Jillian and I are gonna go back to the cabin, get grab some fishing poles. And I think we're gonna try to fish in our own little pond right here. So if you guys are wondering how I charge my Milwaukee batteries up here, a few years ago, my dad built a portable solar generator and uh, we towed it behind the lawnmower here up to this property so we can charge the batteries. And I'll give you guys a show of that in just a second. This is approximately 300 watts of solar on the panels. It's just made into a little yard cart. We pull behind the lawnmower. And in here he's got some six volt batteries, a little fan to keep it cool. He has an inverter and that's what I have the Milwaukee um, power bank charger right here, which it's already green. It only took um, less than two hours to charge green. So that's pretty good. Comes in handy and I'm ready to put the new battery in there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I think the next video might be us clearing a new driveway through the property.